Okay, guys, this is a little backwards. I um, filmed the inside of this card, but I'm going to show you guys the card, and then I'll stitch the two videos together. So, this is how the card came out. I made the star, or the sun. I made the sun with little baby Cricket Joy there, and then I put some... Um, holographic uh, red vinyl behind it and this is the part that you want to keep watching for bam that's right we have ourselves a pop and twist card using the new stamps from the not too shabby shop so keep watching if you want to see how i put all of this together thanks for watching hi guys welcome back I am using the brand new stamp set from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, this little cute set here. It is called Summertime Buddies. And I'm going to put together a pop and twist card. So I've already colored my little people. I've cut out the pieces I need. Now I just need to assemble it. This is the hard part for me because I can't remember how to do it. So I wanted this as one of my background pieces. So I'm going to cut this to five and a half by four and a quarter. It's just some waves paper that came out of my stash. going to glue that to the bottom here. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's paper studio paper called Water Waves. Look at that. Right on the back there for us. Okay, so this is an A2 size card. We are putting this on the inside of the card. I have not decorated the outside of the card yet. I'll figure that out in a moment. But what's fun about this, if I can remember how to do it, is this die comes in two pieces. And this is from Creek Bank Creations, by the way. It was $26.99 when I got it. It's called the Pop and Twist die. And I just thought it would be really cute for this stamp set because... When you open it, what it's supposed to do is um, pop out at you, okay? So I just have to remember how to put everything in place. I think this gets glued down and then these somehow fold into place, if I remember correctly. So question is, I was thinking about putting like clouds or something up there. Let me see if I can find some pattern paper to do that. Or you know what? We can make clouds. Let's just make clouds. That's what we'll do. Oh, we'll use one of our new scrapbooking.com daubers and see how we like it. So this is some tumbled glass distress ink. We'll use one of these new daubers. This is a Blue Night Rubber Stamps um, cloud stencil, by the way. And then I'm just going to move it down. So far, so good. is Nina Solar White on the bottom um, for the card base. It's the heavy duty, 110 pound. So we're going to make this a fun, cloudy day. I mean, a fun, sunny day with some clouds in the sky. Okay, dauber worked pretty good. Just going to add some blue off to the side here. Okay, so we have that done, and like I said, I will work on the front of the card, but this is going to be the inside of the card, which is going to be the fun part. Okay, what I think, if I recall, you're supposed to measure this to go in the center. 
So I'm gonna eyeball that. So that closes up like that. But I think what you do is, ooh, if I remember, Okay, yes, the triangle pieces get glued down. I'm going to use some, here is my super sticky tape. There we go, my Tombow Extreme. So that goes on these triangle pieces here. And this comes pre-scored. All you do is cut the die out and um, that's it. Okay, so those go down there. And then I remember these parts. Ah, there we go. That's correct. All right. Then this little corner here and this little corner here where it's rounded gets attached to your card. So we're going to attach this corner and this corner. Okay. And then what happens is when you fold the card up, oops, this goes up. I have them folded the wrong way. That goes down. I have my, my hills and valleys the wrong way. Okay, it should be okay now. Maybe I did have it the right way. Oopsie. getting there. <laughs> Just got to get these creases to go a couple times so that they know which way to go when it folds up in the card. And this side is coming up, which we don't want. since I use this clearly as you watch me struggle through it here. I know those corners got tucked in. I do remember that. Just trying to remember how this flips so that it doesn't get smashed. I think this is supposed to come out. Oh, we're getting there. Getting really close, Nance. There we go. Okay, I knew I'd figure it out eventually. <laughs> All right, so. When the recipient opens this, I'll decorate the front. This pops open like this. There we go. Isn't that cute? So, like I said, it's just two little dies that come in here. And this set is cute because it has so many cute, perfectly sized elements in it. So this is the part that I cut and stamped on and colored in. And then this is the back folding part, which you can see is very clearly um, already um, ready to go for the die cutting and folding. And it's just a matter of, like I said, gluing those two corners down. And once you glue those two corners down, you wanna make sure that the center piece pops up and these two side pieces go down and then it will fold in upon itself. So now I just need to decorate the front, which I will use some more of this cute stamp set to do. And then when you open it up, it looks like, hey, they're having a good time at the beach. We have our fun clouds in the sky, and then we have our cool water at the bottom. So there we go. 
Isn't that cute? Okay. Once again, this card is brought to us by the Not Too Shabby Shop. Go check it out. I'll have everything linked down below for you. And this is called Summertime Buddies. If you have any questions, post, th post them down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. And every time I post a video, you will be sent a link if you click the bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check my Facebook and my Instagram. It will have an update of the outside of the card. But again, I just wanted to show you guys how cute it is and easy to make that scene with that. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.